I'm responsible for the Central Valley operations where we farm a little over 12,000 acres here in the valley. We're uh, on this particular ranch, it's a fairly large ranch, we're about 4,000 acres here. The way we look at water is we're trying to utilize less water per ton of grape produced. The way we monitor our water use is we have meters on all of our sources, whether it be groundwater wells, uh, river water, or canal water. And so we've got meters on everything and we know how much we're utilizing and which blocks it's going to, so we know exactly what we're using out in the field. The way we look at our whole irrigation structure is we have several supplies, we know what our water quality is, uh, we test that every year. We also test our pumps every year. We were aware of, uh, of PG&E's pump testing um, rebate program and their, their intention to, to try to get people to be as, as uh, proactive as possible in conserving energy. And so by saving that water, we're also saving the energy it costs to pump that water. We work with PG&E on rebates for the pump testing, VFDs, and also when we rework a well. We have, uh, we have quite a few pumps on this ranch and we utilize uh, uh, VFDs, variable frequency drives, to help regulate the amount of flow out in the vineyard. The reality is you only want to deliver what you need for the vine and the vine growth you want and the, the varieties you're growing. A uniform uh, irrigation distribution really helps us meet the targets that we set out. And, and we are expected to meet certain yield and quality uh, targets. And, and without that uniform system, we wouldn't be able to do that. By conserving our water and utilizing it wisely for our vineyard operations, we're also helping the community at large. What I think sometimes is forgotten is that agriculture also is a resource to allow percolation of uh, rainwater back into the aquifers. It's open land, it's being farmed, but times of the year it's, it's a, a net positive for uh, recharge. I think all growers ought to be looking at their pumping systems and working with PG&E on looking at ways to improve their efficiencies. It's a, it's a money savings. When you improve your efficiency, your kilowatt hours per acre foot pumped are, are much reduced and you're saving that money back over a, a relatively short amount of time. And then when there's rebates included as well, then they're helping you cover the costs of, of making those improvements. Mm -hmm.